Alrighty then, now they give us y equals mx plus b form again is what they want. But they give me the slope. But look, I don't have the intercept. And the reason I don't is because x isn't 0 right there. So in order to use this for the answer, I know m, but I've got to find b. Okay? Well, I also know x, and I know y. So let's just substitute m in, x in, and leave b alone. And this will help me find b. 5 equals negative 6 plus b. So that's really pretty easy. Add 6. And 11 equals b. So this would make the answer y equals negative 2x plus 11. So make sure you track with this because they're not going to give you the intercept too often like they did on this one. If x is ever 0, that's the intercept you don't even have to solve. But notice, whenever they change it, we want to put the y, the x, and the m into this equation and solve for b. Once we get b solved for, it goes right there. Look, b's right here. And that was the slope from up above. That makes that one pretty good. So we're good on that one. We'll be right back.